Okay, in this video I'm going to be covering how to set up a GPS rescue mode in Beta Flight 3.4. This is just going to be a quick start guide. Uh, if you want more detailed, comprehensive information, I'll put a link in the description to the uh, Beta Flight wiki that has a basically a whole page on how to set up the uh, GPS and everything on your drone. Uh, essentially, you need one of these um, GPSs here. I think uh, it works with Ubox and there's another uh, protocol it works with. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, again, check the Betaflight wiki, but this is the one that I've gotten. This is from HGLRC. Uh, they included this wiring diagram because the the cable that they included, the wires are in the wrong order. So you want to, if you do get this model, uh, you want to put the wires in this particular order. Essentially, to get uh, GPS working on Betaflight 3.4, uh, you no longer need a compass. You just need the GPS, and all you need is one spare UART. So essentially, when you want to, in terms of wiring it up to your flight controller, you're going to um, basically need, like, uh, you're like in this particular case, 3.3 to 5 volts. You need power, ground, and then you need a transmit and receive. So basically, uh, so for example, if you're using UART 6, which is what I happen to use in my example, uh, the receive is going to go to the transmit on UART 6, and then the transmit on the GPS is going to go to the receive on the flight controller. So keep that in mind that the transmit goes to receive, and the receive goes to transmit on the flight controller. And that's pretty much it. You have to just solder up four wires connected to your GPS. At that point, you got to do some setup at the computer. And we'll go ahead and go to the computer now, and I'll show you the rest of the setup. Okay, so I got my drone connected to Betaflight, and I will uh, show you what I actually set up here. Uh, basically, you want to go into the ports tab here, and under sensor input, on the UART, which is in, in my particular case, I'm using UART 6. I have the GPS set up here. Uh, the baud rate is set at 57600. I think that was actually auto set by the GPS. I'm not exactly sure. I This was normally auto, but this is what came out. And this is working for me. I've seen some other videos where they take the, the baud rate all the way down to 9600. So it might depend on your model. This one works for the one that I have, um, this particular model from HGLRC. So you want to, uh, whatever you're using, uh, once you've wired up your RX and TX, um, make sure you enable the GPS feature here in the ports tab. And then under config the configuration tab, uh, you're going to go down to this section here. It's going to be on uh, default as off, and you're going to turn that on. And then you want to select your protocol for your particular model. Uh, mine's UBlox. The other uh, protocol is NMEA. So you're, you're going to have to check your documentation on your particular uh, GPS. And then I just have mine set for auto config, auto detect. I didn't turn on auto baud. So this is how I, have my, how, how I have mine set up and that seems to be working. So one of the things you can check uh, to see if your GPS is working is on the setup tab you can go over here to this section called GPS and you'll see that as, it'll say that as a 3D fix it'll say true. If, if you don't have enough satellites it'll say false and you can currently see seven satellites. Uh, I'm actually inside the house right now which is actually pretty impressive. I think you can get, on this particular model, I've seen as, up, as many as 18 satellites that you can detect. Now if you want more information about the GPS, you're going to have to enable the expert mode. And then you click on the GPS tab here and it'll give you more information about the GPS uh, signal strength here for the different satellites you can see and also your longitude and latitude and other information here. This is just going to be stuff that is coming back from your GPS sensor. The next thing you want to do is go into your modes and set up your modes. Obviously, you're going to obviously set up something for arming, but when you, once you have GPS enabled and working, you should set up a uh, switch for the GPS rescue mode. And I have one set up here. You can enable that. I just have that on another aux switch. And uh, you can just flip that into rescue mode to basically bring back the drone automatically. Now. Um, by default, the it's just not enabled for failsafe. You have to you have to actually enable that in the CLI uh, using some CLI commands, and you can go to the Betaflight uh, wiki page to uh, turn that on. It's actually just a command to turn that on. So if you have a receiver loss, a signal loss, then you can it'll automatically initiate the rescue mode instead of actually you doing it manually via a switch. The default is to, to do it manually. Okay, so obviously you're going to want to set up your OSD and set up some elements on here, save some information on what's going on. Uh, some of the things I set up were uh, my home arrow. You probably want that for sure. Distance from your from home, you want that for sure. And then uh, number of satellites, I, I have that as well. I, I have a couple things here like ground speed and altitude. Not necessarily need those. Uh, there were a few things that I didn't enable, like for example, uh, GPS longitude and latitude. 
So there's a lot of things you could possibly put on here, but I didn't enable all those things. Uh, you can look at this particular tab and uh, choose the information you want to see on your screen. I don't particularly like a ton of clutter, so uh, this is this is what I've enabled on my screen. And one thing I uh, forgot to mention earlier is that if you want the D GPS uh, rescue mode to work, you have to have the accelerometer turned on. If you don't have that turned on, it's not going to work properly because once you go into GPS rescue mode, it goes and it uses the self-level feature to, to level up the quad and bring it back safely. Now if you want to uh, go into the CLI and look at some of the other GPS commands that are available, you can just go in there and uh, type in get GPS and then it'll give you uh, some of the settings you can change in this in the command line. Uh, I changed a few of the defaults just for my particular area that I fly in. I believe uh, I changed uh, the descent distance to 100. For, I think it was 200. Yeah, the default was 200. Oh, and I also changed the uh, GPS rescue ground speed. The default was 2,000. I changed it to 1,000. I think uh, the default at 2,000 is something like 35 miles per hour, and I wanted to come back a little bit slower so it doesn't uh, react so quickly. And I believe that's all I changed. Obviously there's a bunch of other things here you can change. You can, as you can see, uh, as I mentioned earlier, definitely uh, consult the, uh, the Betaflight wiki page on that. Uh, it'll, it'll actually talk about all of these things you can change. And then, for example, one of the things you might want to change is the rest of the uh, minimum satellites. If you uh, don't have a minimum of eight satellites, which is the default, uh, and you arm, it won't know where the home position is and uh, you'll have problems if you, if you enable GPS rescue mode without, uh, if you arm before this uh, threshold is met. Uh, so eight's probably a good number because that'll, that'll give you a good fix. Uh, I would probably leave that alone, but make sure that uh, before you arm and take off, you have this, many, this number of satellites actually detected by the, the GPS sensor, otherwise you're gonna have issues. Here's just a, a quick demo of the GPS rescue feature working. I am just kind of flying around here. Uh, I'm checking to make sure that the uh, direction home arrow is actually pointed in the right place. I know that that's where it's going to go when you switch into GPS rescue mode. So you want to make sure that's pointing in the right direction. And uh, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch it in here. I made sure that it is pointing in the right direction. I go ahead and switch it into rescue mode there. It climbs up to the specified altitude in the CLI and then it starts coming back. You can see that uh, that starts coming back to me. And then I, I go ahead and switch it back into regular uh, out of GPS rescue mode and start flying it again normally. So you can see my modes are uh, on the left hand side in the lower left corner. And I'm going to go ahead and try it one more time here just to make sure it is working, home air is working, flip it into rescue mode. It does climb up to the specified altitude and then it starts, um, turns back to me and it starts heading back. And so, so once you see it's, that it's working, I go ahead and I, I switch it back out of um, rescue mode and just go ahead and fly it again. So that's pretty much it. See that it's confirmed that it's working. Uh, just again, consult the Betaflight Wiki for more information.